Hi everyone, it's Pat from Beads and Plenty More and today I'm going to show you how to work with this uh, bracelet that's made with pearls and crystal. And uh, I've always really enjoyed working with pearls but one of the biggest problems with pearls is that they have really really tiny holes and uh, it's harder to find a stringing material that will work really well with them. Here's the other sample that I've made up in, in a little bit dressier colors. Uh, the, this first one was kind of geared for fall colors and this is the strands that I used was a, a strand of uh, the freshwater pearls and a strand of the 10 millimeter crystal, fairly large crystal, so that gives it a bit of size. So to start with I needed to use a 0.5 millimeter elastic which I don't generally like to work with again because it's not very strong but in this case it works for pearls. So I've got I've chosen my pearls and I've got some of them strung here so I'll continue to string the last ones up here and then I'll show you how we join on to the uh, bigger crystal beads. The trick with this is that I'm going to put two strands of the 0.5 through the bigger crystal beads which will equate then to about a a 0.10 instead of a, a 2.5 be a 0.10 which is a lot stronger than a 0.5 and uh, also they put a little charm in the center of the pearls too so that means that when you're considering your size of the uh, bracelet you want to make sure you use an even number of um, pearl beads because we want to put the charm in the center. So I've taken a generous portion of the 0.5 elastic because I do need to double it now to go through the uh, crystals and I need to have a fair bit of it because it's going to go, have to go all the way around. So we'll just center these pearls up on the uh, elastic and I'm going to take the two strands of the 0.5 and I'm going to start feeding it through the larger crystal beads here. Of course always when you string two strands it's a little more difficult because they like to jump around and I found a little trick is that if I have one a little bit longer than the other you can see where the first one goes through and then let the second one follow along. So that's kind of a bit of a hint when you're working with uh, two strands of something. So again I will feed all of these on. We're going to center the pearls up and have them coming up together like this. So I'm going to stop the video now and finish doing all of my crystal beads and then I'll come back to show you how to finish the ends on it. Alright we're back again and I have threaded all of the uh, larger uh, crystal beads onto my two strands of uh, 0.5 millimeter elastic and so when I've come back to the center of the pearls I'm going to split my two pieces of elastic and uh, go into the center which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 20 pearl beads so 10 is the middle and we'll put one strand underneath and then the other strand will be on top and we'll go ahead and tie these off with the surgeon's knot the same as we always tie elastic one around and draw that up nice and snug and then I'm going to go around twice nice knot there and this would be glued with our GNS hypo cement and then I'm going to run these um, elast double elastics through the the uh, last bead of my uh, crystal beads because they have quite large holes which is not a problem to get the double elastic going through an extra time easier to do it with one strand at a time. Well, maybe both strands will go through easier. So 
Sometimes if you have a little problem getting elastic to go through when you want to draw your uh, knot away from the place that it's tied, it's a good idea to stretch the elastic that's in the hole and that'll make it a little bit smaller. That makes it easier to get it through. So the GNS Hypo Cement again, we're going to glue with that on my knots to hold those knots firm. And to put a little pendant uh, on this one, I've chosen two leaves. I thought again in the fall colors, fall for leaves. And I chose this one that comes down long and this one that's shorter so that they kind of fit together nicely. And again, we'll count one, two, three, four, five and put it in the center. And I just hooked it onto one side of the pearls. It doesn't really need to be on both sides. I can put them on both sides if you choose. That also looks good. These pearl, uh, this pearl strip that I've done on this just naturally seems to twist, which is kind of a nice look don't even have to put an effort into making it twist. So once you get these knots glued, you'll have a nice little bracelet all ready to wear. So that, that's one idea. And then we've, I've used the Tree of Life on this one for a pendant. Same two colors of uh, pearls and crystal. And then this one is all in whites and pearls with a rose gold uh, heart. This is one of our newer charms, which is a very pretty charm. And I added in a couple of little uh, rose gold beads just so that it matched up with the rose gold heart. Okay, I hope you'll enjoy making the, the a bracelet with using some pearls. And uh, bye for now.